Hello and welcome to episode 98 of our Midlands map. Yes, 98. Two away from the big 100. We are sat currently. Don't play Guess the Station just yet. It's not finished detailed. Detailing. I've, I've not finished the detailing. That's easy for you to say. But it is Polesworth. A very quiet Polesworth at the moment. We are on the West Coast mainline. And it is part of what we're doing, sort of, as we're, we're doing the branch line connecting up to Walsall. I intend to uh, extend that a little further. We'll see how far we get with that. What I want to do first is what I promised in the previous episode, and that is build a beautiful double-arched red brick bridge. Why I attempted that after I couldn't get my initial words out, I have no idea, but it, we got it. That's nice. There's uh, probably more people here at Polesworth than there is normally. <laughs> it, it's quite busy, isn't it? This used to have two platforms. It's probably more given the central bit, but uh, yeah, it's relegated to a single platform. I don't know why it is. It is the least used station, I believe, as well, in uh, wherever we are. Good research. So yeah, so that's all planned today. I'm, I'm looking forward to doing the bridge. It's been a, it's been a while since we built a bridge. Why I've planned things after building a bridge, I do not know. You know it's possibly going to take all episode. Let's hope not. Because I would like to get at least another station or two in on the branch line to Walsall. I'm tentatively waiting for a train to appear, but it's not happening, is it? We're going to have to go trainless for the intro. Oh, that's sad. It matters not, we'll see plenty of trains at the end, as at the very end I'd possibly like to get in uh, a HST running on the East Midlands railway side of things, as they're called now, I believe. It, it was East Midlands trains and now they're East Midlands railway. However, we're going to keep the East Midlands trains colours, unless the, the new livery appears on the workshop, in which case oh, that makes a lot of sense, but it wouldn't look like purple like how cross-country ones are. Anyway, enough waffling. There's a plane in the background. Here we go. That's becoming an official thing, isn't it? I love having these planes up in the air. It just brings it to life a little more. Sh shall we head over to uh, Rougely? Let's bring up the UI. There we go. I mean, there's a handful of people. I kind of like this. I, will, I know we should be getting on with the bridge building. This is this is a bad, bad, bad decision, Mr. GT. <laughs> But we're going to do it anyway. I love that there are... Oh, there's a train. Look, see? That was worth it. There we go. Let's go back here. Pretend that we're, we're still doing the intro. We're not really. What I was going to say is that there's a few people here, like a handful. They're all kind of turning up in preparation for the train. What is that train? Is it the Caledonian Sleeper? It certainly is. Or the Call It Onion Sleeper, apparently. I think that's what he said. In, in the comments, some of you may have seen it. It gave me a chuckle. Oh, there's another train. I, I should have just paused it a little bit and timed this better. But there we go. We get we get some trains. That's a good thing. Yeah, anyhow, th there's a handful of people that show up at Polesworth. And in contrast, if we, we head over to uh, Nuneaton shortly, which is a kind of an interchangey type station. Well, it is an interchange. Then there's there's loads more people. It it kind of mirroring real life, which is really what I'm aiming for when I started this recreation. Does the AI act similarly to? Oh dear, trying some fantastic words today. Do they do they react similar to the general populace? I mean, it's a good little experiment. Anyhow, there goes our class three one three in lovely BR green that we've made up but hey it represents uh, London Northwestern quite nicely shall we get on with some bridge building and go and take a look at uh, Nuneaton oh they've just picked every no there we go Nuneaton's up there that is not Nuneaton that is Atherston yes although <laughs> again there's a there's a handful more people there than there is at Polesworth and then uh, finally you get even more even with all the trains leaving at, uh, at, at lovely Nuneaton here I love it. I love it. Let's go and uh, let's go and make Rougely a little busier, shall we? They're not going to get that busy currently because they're kind of the end of the line at the moment. They are the end of the line of this branch. Now, yes, comments. 
<laughs> I, I believe I was making people quite uncomfortable. And there, there's a good reason for that. Well spotted, guys. We, how could I miss that? It's a little bizarre, but how could I miss that? That's weird, isn't it? I mean, there are massive buffers there. Shall we uh, delete that and make a, a lovely connection? We're just going with the 125 track at the moment. We'll get all the correct speeds in eventually. There we go. We've got it. Now we can connect it up. I'm going to blame my mouse. Why not? Beautiful, guys. Are we happy? I'm happy. We've started with our buses around here. I can't wait. It's probably going to be a live stream when we do some serious bus work. And I'm still hoping, fingers crossed, touch wood and all that business, that... Uh, that we can still do a live, live stream for the 100th. Who knows? Who knows? It would be nice. My internet's not the most reliable, as, as you all know. But uh, it's been behaving so far. I don't want to jinx it. I love this. People walking along here. They might, they might still do that. We are actually going to fence all this off when we come to detailing. Because it's, it's, uh, it's an A road that's that doesn't have houses on the side. Anyway, this is the site of the double arches that we're going to be creating. Should we give it a go? Let's get cracking, otherwise it is literally going to take me an entire episode. I've taken the time to select the correct ones here. Now, we're going to have a little bit of an issue because we're on a gradient. However, I do believe it is a set gradient which these should match up to, he says. Obviously not that way. But yeah, they should match up if we we do them this side, you see. They, they match up perfect. Actually, it's spot on. Okay, it might not be as difficult <laughs> as I first imagined. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to do it, though. Well, we can do it in one block, can't we? And that'll be, that'll be nice and easy. It is a red brick, and this is probably about the closest we've got. Four is, is a, little, a little weathered. Uh, we've got the the five, the one I like to use some of the time, and then and then it starts drifting well away from red brick. Uh, there is another brick. Yeah, yeah, no, no, there isn't. Well, there's these, and they're not quite right. I'm going to go with these. That's what. No, no, three. There we go. This is close enough. I love that the slope matches perfectly. That's what these are for. Is if you uh, use the if you go like this and click the uh, gradient tool, it's that one. And on our bridge tool, that matches. And I would imagine the next one up is is what matches the the next one on the list there. This one, the double one. So it's like one click and two clicks. That's what I'm going with. It would make sense. Okay, let's get this bridge, this first arch about right. Uh, we're going to have to obviously not plow into the road. Ideally, we should get our width right. It's a, it should be about four. And we do want to do some fancies on here. If I'm feeling brave, I might even stick a picture of the bridge up. I, I could just say it's right at the end and, and you, you, you can believe me. But I'm going to give it my best. Right, D. We probably need a little bit more chubbiness on it. Let's go with that. There we go. It gives us a bit more room. We can hear the 33, 31? Class 313 pulling up there, which I love. Okay, he's just spinning cameras now and not actually doing anything. We're going to need a bit more length, which is nice because they are kind of wide, the two arches. They're not very short at all. And if we can miss the pavement, that would be great. We'll go with zero, I think. That, I'd rather not have them walk through it. It doesn't really matter. Honestly, it doesn't. You know, I like to get it as close as possible. Can't go there. That's, that's probably about as good as we're getting it. I mean, really, what I should do is straighten this road, shouldn't I? That would be the best thing. It's a little tricky. Sorry, I know you're all walking on there, guys, but you're going to have to not for a second. Now, don't do that, though. That is terrible. This might be the worst or best idea I've had, but if we can make this a little better... Make it look as though we're supposed to be going under. Oh, do you know that's beautiful, isn't it? And then can we can we scoot in there? Okay, I I, I don't mind that. That would work for us. We're probably going to have to do the same on the other side. There we go. That's actually beautiful. Yeah, 
we're probably yeah we're definitely going to have to do the same this side so we'll get that about no <laughs> yes that's exactly what you wanted we'll get that about there Ooh. fortunately our bridge is, is is high enough should we put the arch in first that might be the best plan we'll delete this back and we'll get it and we'll get it all perfect to go with the bridge so we'll use the same arch on the other side because it's the, the perfect height and width and and length and we do want a solid section in the middle that's why we're leaving this gap in the middle we don't want to go too close obviously our scale means that we have to do something a little bit different to real life little landmarks like this in towns I love doing you're doing it wrong again you did it right the first time when you went like this and then made it perfect there we go that's beautiful now ah, it's even looking more like the islandy thing that's going on as well. That's better. There we go. Like it was meant to be there. Now then, we're going to need to get uh, a solid central section. And I don't think these quite line up right, as you can see there. So we might have to do a little bit of artistic license. Obviously, it doesn't need to be quite as long. We've got to just fit it in that gap there. However, if we do have it at a different... Uh, depths and things then what we can do is avoid the z order issues right i'll try reducing the uh the width i i said something i shouldn't if you're wondering why i'm giggling and i'm, I'm gonna edit that out but uh yes anyhow if we put it in like this oh dear grow up man and we we can get it the width is fine we'll probably just need the length as as small as possible like that that's a little too small it's gonna to have to be the big l capital l that might do it for me we can hide all the other gubbins quite easily because uh we're gonna have we're gonna have a, a length going across the top right and hopefully what i'm really really hoping for is we're gonna get this and i'm really hoping that we can get like the full span and that's not going to do it. But if we change to variant, it makes it much longer, you see. Uh, you've gone short there. That's not what you wanted. Oh, it's not enough. It's not enough. Although it might be. Yes, no, we can make this work. It's kind of enough, isn't it? Uh, it the slope isn't exactly the same. There isn't a slope, you silly man. You're going to have to make your own slope. Okay, well, we have the tools for that. Let's see if we can uh, replicate the same tilt slope. Let's hope so. Uh, probably this way. There we go. We might be able to do this. It, it's looking promising. Kind of. Yeah, you're not quite the same, are you? or are you? Oh, you might be. Yes, maybe. That's not looking too bad. We'll see what it looks like when it's in. It's going to be concrete. So we're going to go with this texture. It's like a... Actually, do you know what it is like? It's more like gothic, not that one, this one. This would probably be our closest representation for it. And we need to make it extra, extra wide. Probably not that wide, that's a little excessive. Uh, yes, closer. I just want it jutting out a little bit. Ooh, there's kind of nothing between A and B. Well, you know, I, I, I'll take it. I'll take it. We can put it in there. Yes, that's acceptable. I'll take that. It it looks like it's hiding all the all the business. Lovely. Right then. Let's uh, put them on the end as well. We might as well carry it all the way through. What do you reckon, guys? Are we gonna are we gonna do this? Preferably in like half half an hour. Well, it's gonna be a bit less than that. That's what I'm hoping. I'm going for it. I'm gonna do it. Right. We can take that off, and we can shrink that back down and just fill in the rest of the gap. Uh, it'll probably need to be an O. I can hear a plane up upstairs. Upstairs in the sky. Yes. <laughs> Good words, sir. Good words. So do do we lose like some gradient here, or is it because of the it does some weird math with this? I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. We could be losing gradient. That's entirely a, a thing. We we might have to lower that. Oh, that's awkward. Which means we have to go minus 5 and then bring back 
four of them, and maybe nine. And it's close. It's close. There may be eight. How's that? It's not too bad, is it? It's not too bad. Although, I would prefer this to go all the way over those jaggedy bits as well. So we'll go with a G. <laughs> go with a G. A GT. Well, in fact, we, we, we need to go, like, full on, don't we? Would have been easier just to leave it as it was, I think. Well, there we go. That might work. No, a bit more. Just a little bit. Because it gives this a, a nice section as well. We've got some more stuff to put in. Uh, three? Try three. Yeah, I kind of like it hitting that switch. That's that's sort of sort of working for me. Is it look? Is it looking too? It's not quite there, is it? I think we can budge it up a bit, and we can use the the centimeters here. We go four. Let's try that. Uh, the joys of bridge building. I think that's better. It's still not quite there. I believe the the slope is not quite enough, is it? There we go. There we go. That might work. How's that? I do want it to kind of overlap a little higher. The reason being is it does get rid of the, the jagginess. And if we put that one there, is that working for us? No jaggies. No flashing. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. Now, the reason I wanted it chubby as well. Oh, <laughs> wide. Yeah, that's a strange selection of words. But... Uh, yeah, we need to get a wall up here for the same colour as that. But we can do that. We can probably get rid of all of this that we just put on. We don't need the width on this anymore. Because we need it just to be kind of a brick wally thing going on. And we'll need to do, I believe, the slope that side. We need to take all of that off. There we go. Beautiful. That should be it. Uh, what's the, uh, the variant? Oh, it's nice and it's nice and long, isn't it? I like that. Can we get a good good length on it, maybe? Hey, there we go. If we put that in, how's that looking? They, it's a little bit off, isn't it? It's just a little bit off. Let's try that again. We're gonna need to go with that slope, I believe. There we go. Oh, it looks like it's supposed to be there. Look at that. I wouldn't mind going a little higher, actually, because there was a bit of leeway on the height so if we can uh, shift it up maybe like so or oh, even more go a little bit more how's that that's nice that's there we go oh that's wonky don't do that do you like our little bridge she ain't bad is she it kind of does what what happens here a little bit of artistic license obviously now we need to put them at the end Take that off. It should be roughly the same sort of settings. I can't remember what they were. Was it three? Yeah, we might need to go back one, two. Let's go two. Let's do the other side that isn't wonky first. Now we're yeah, we're gonna have to mess with the uh, heights and stuff again. Didn't quite get it long enough. And switch to three and then drop it down. We've got to do all of the the shenanigans. Now what did we have? Something like four and seven. Is that it? No, that's that's it. not it by a mile. Because you're doing the wrong one there. There we go. Oh, no. That's not quite right. What's going on there? Oh, because it's a different a different section. We might need to go for... That's weird, though, because you're just doing the same thing twice. Which means, if you just do that... <laughs> there we go. Yes, silly man. And then we'll just adjust this and get it almost spot on close as possible does that that that'll do wouldn't it that'll do oh we might as well go over here first maybe can we get that in how's that gonna look well i don't like it really it, it's kind of on a bend isn't it never mind we'll do it we'll keep it like that it will be fine i to get in i mean you know we can't build bricks on curves so there we go, guys. We're in. Let's see if we can't uh, do something snazzy now to fill in the end bits. It, it's kind of red brick there as well. Well, no, it is red brick there. We'll go back with this guy, and we want to we want to get all this back. I've kind of gone about this a, a bit of a haphazard way, haven't I? 
There, there are better ways I could have done this. Uh, we'll go with four. So it's the same. We could we could actually make that wider. Thinking about it for this end. I do want a bit of length on it. Quite a bit. A bit more. No, even more. Let's do it. Well, actually, we could go to town on it, couldn't we? Go like three. I think that'll do. How's that looking? Oh, I don't like it. We forgot about the slopey slopes. Let's put the slope on. I think that's what it'll be. Not that. That's too much slope. We could just raise it up a little. That's even worse, Gran. I don't know what you're doing now. That's... <laughs> oh, dear. That was, that was awkward. Uh, what are you doing there? What did I do? I just messed up, didn't I? Well, I mean, it's, it's, it, it's okay. It'll do. Uh, oh, actually, I don't like the bricks leaning like that. Can we take this off and just adjust the height a touch and not ruin it? It would be lovely. You kind of connect into the wrong thing there. What are you doing? No, you've, you've changed the wrong thing. Now, if we go here and we put it in and we just raise it up a touch, would that hide everything without us plowing through the track? It does. That's nicer. That's much nicer. Hopefully we can do the same here. I really hope we can. Get in there. Does it go through the track? Oh, we're miles off. Look at that. It's beautiful. I like it, guys. What do you reckon? Does that, for anybody that knows Rougely, close enough? It, it's not bad. There we go, guys. I would say that works for me as Rougely's bridge there. Do you like it? I do. We're not quite done. It's got a nice little... If we go into JK's bridge building kit and we use the single-sided ones, like so, we might be able to get these in here and just give it a finishing touch. It's, it's a bit off, unfortunate. It kind of works, though. I don't mind it. They're a bit like... They would be like that. It kind of works for me. I, I'm sort of down with it sticking out a little bit. Need one there. And then you'd need... You'd need... Okay. Come on. Don't be silly. You need one there and one... One... There. That, right. I think I've got it. There we go. That works, doesn't it? It gives it a bit more, doesn't it? An extra... Extra bit of fancy. I think now we've got to switch to this one. Don't we? No. You, you're kind of not doing the right thing. That's weird. Yeah, there. That, that's it. Isn't it? Oh, I can't tell. can't tell where that's snapping. It's snapping wrong, I think. No, you, you're kind of not doing the right thing. Oh, there we go. That's it. Got it. It would be there. And then you would switch and do the other one the other side. About the same distance. How's that looking? It works. It gives it more texture. I like it. There we go, guys. We're in. That is it. We uh, we have uh, a lovely little bridge going on. I don't know whether that would work for us. We could technically manually put it in. Uh, using page up and page down. But I think you're just getting a bit ahead of yourself now. Yeah, well, we'll leave it. There we go. We're in. What do we got to do next, then? I do like that. What train is that pulling away? It sounds amazing. Of course it is. It's 313. Yes. So now we have that in, we've got, we're going to do something similar around here. They've got, like, uh, concrete sidings to them. But not today. As that did indeed, as I predicted, take half an episode. Well, I didn't predict that, did I? I predicted a full episode. So you, you were way off. Where were we heading? We were heading to Cannock. That's right. And it's got a similar situation, I believe, to Hensford. Where they have a road going across the top. However, the reason we're up like this is because after Cannock, there's a, there's a road going underneath. So having it like this means we can build around the track as opposed to uh, the track conforming to the scenery. There we go. We go there. I don't think this will be overly quick either. In fact, I don't think it will be very quick at all. I'm almost going to go with 70. 
There we go. A little wiggle in the up, up to Canuck. We've got to head to, I believe, Landy Wood as a as a station, and then we've got two stations at Blockswitch, and then we swing around to Walsall, and there is like the the mother of all sidings down down somewhere down here this way. It's wonderful. I'm looking forward to doing that. In fact, we've got a plenty of those little projects to do. We will get around to them. I'm not one for shying away from massive sidings. There we go. I, I think that's a good time to save it as well. Losing all that, our little bridge. Oh, I'm, I'm just going to leave it there while I save it. Just for my own amusement, because I want to look at something nice. All right then, on with the episode. Nicely saved up. Oh, do you know what we could do while we're here? We could... Uh, we could add... A little bit of concrete in the middle there. Just some finishing touches. Just so it doesn't look so plain. Where is... Yeah, there we go. Where's my own mod? It's there. Uh, concrete C. That should do it. And we just put that in here. Like so. Paint that. Yeah, that's nice. I do like that. We could also get... Uh, not this. Some some fencing in there. It, it's not there, but it... It might look nice. We'll go with metal. And it will, it will stop them building, you see. Which is kind of the real reason I'm doing this. Even though it's not legit. We'll go around like so. We can't go too close to the road. As they'll ignore it otherwise, as I found out before. But we can get right in there. That doesn't look too bad. A bit wonky, this side. I mean, technically, we could get rid of that one post there. It almost looks like they just measured it slightly wrong. <laughs> That's what we'll go with. Right, now, what else do I want to do? Let, let's put some uh, shrubbery around here. Just to finish it off. We might even use it as a screenshot. We'll get those in there. Put that there. And then that'll come down to here. We'll we'll get some uh, a bush along the bottom or something. To make sure they don't build on there. There we go. That will do for now. I think that'll work for us for uh, this little station here, Rugeley Town, that now is connected properly. What we should have done first is go back to this fence, uh, get some boxwoods plan. And all we're doing this for is to make sure they don't uh, they don't build here. If we go along this tree line, like so, and, and along into here, yeah, we we got rid of the trees. That's why I said we should have possibly done that first. It matters not. There you go. You're learning from my mistakes. Then we can hide the uh, uniformness a touch with some loose shrubs. Okay, little bushes. Now nah, it doesn't look so uh, so perfect, does it? Perfect. <laughs> well, I mean, it doesn't look so. <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Right. Let's get some trees up in this. And that's looking better already. We need a few bushes around there just to hide the trunk. Oh dear. Oak trees, you've got such a massive hitbox. It's not needed. Right, and then we'll put them back in. There we go. Manually placed. Got to have a few trees in there. How's that look? That looks wonderful to me. That looks wonderful. They might. I want them kind of to build around here. That would be nice. Right. Now, I need to correct myself on, on Canuck over here. There is. There is. Road bridges go underneath on both sides. Or the roads go underneath the track on both sides. So we've got rail bridges rather than road bridges. And it's sort of on an embankment. Now, I don't think we need to raise it up anymore. What we can do is put in the station and then lower the ground around it if need be. And... So we'll get Canuck in. It's it's not a big one at all, a big station. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have a little curve on it, but not much. And only towards the end, so we might be able to use this one. I don't know how well that will work. We'll see. If we put a bit of a radius at the beginning, or let's get rid of all the gubbins first. Get rid of all of that. Don't need that. But we're not going to have a, a main entry going to be like that instead i'm going to get the height so it's closer to british platform height i'm going to go with like 100 uh, that should be beautiful 
And then we'll go quite aggressive on the radius. It should just curve at the end. That is perfect. Um, what else should we do? Get rid of the roof length. There we go. I think that'll do us. In fact, it could do with being a bit more aggressive on the curve at the other end. Uh, maybe, maybe something like 600. It's sort of there. It, it slowly comes round at the other at the other side. Oh yes, we need tenery and high speed track, please. I would say that's that's kind of close enough. Could we get it in any more aggressive? I think the problem we have is oh, but that's too too aggressive. Not quite like there we go then. That should work. And then oh, we're raised up a section there. That's perfect. That means we can come round here on a little embankment, which it is. We need to be going straight pretty much right after the uh, right after the station. We do need to be heading into Landy Wood, Cheslin Hay. We've got Bridgetown there and we're going to be making two bridges. That's lovely. Right, we'll keep this on a little embankment then, I think, up to there. That will give us the bridge. To me, that suggests our station should be a little further down, but then we're, we're way too close to Landy Wood. Am I saying that right? It's not Lady Wood, is it? No, Landy. It is Landy. Now this should just be walkways up to the down or down to the road, but we don't have those. We'll go with these because they they kind of represent it okay. There's there's actually just the road down here. Uh, we're gonna have to go quite aggressive, I would say. We'll get there. We'll get there. Too much slope, yeah, because you're doing the, the sillies there. If we just make a little bit of a trench, and then go flat at the bottom that should do us and then we'll do something the same over here fairly aggressive down make sure there's a bit of a it's a bit exaggerated granted but should be all right we'll just do that for now i would like to get this this bridge in if possible it would be lovely so if we're coming off here there is the A5190. That's what's going along here. If we come off here and stay flat, I'm hoping it will give us a bridge. That's what I'm hoping. And it would be nice to connect up to the other side. Now, they do raise up, probably not that sharp. They do raise up and down either side. I don't mind that. You can start heading up that way. I want them to eventually build either side. So we're going to go with something... You just go just go straight level out to uh there we go beautiful okay it's looking all right get in there let's let's do some smoothing official episode time Ooh, forgot about that the the phrase i'm stuck with forever there we go we're in and will you you will you beautiful thing right then let's get us uh Get his girders on there. That's fantastic. I like that. There we go. You're in. Just like that. And if we bring this in, we might be able to go a little better on that. Uh, yeah. If we uh, just head straight down then, can we just connect in? That's better. I prefer that a lot. Somewhere like there. Yeah. Can we do the same this side then? Because that makes me happier. We'll just go either side of the bridge. That's better. Now, there is... We're going to smooth this out. Because there is kind of a, a grassy area that slopes. I'll tell you... <laughs> i tell you how, how much I'm into this building at the moment. I made myself a cup of tea at the start of the recording. And I've only drank about a quarter of it. A bit more than that now. But, but that's how much I, I've got into that. That's how it happens though, isn't it? You'll start a project and you'll love what you're doing and you can kind of see it taking shape and then and then time's gone. You've lost all the time. Now this is a... Uh, we've got several road bridges here or train bridges, railway bridges. So this one is a bit of a weird one. Uh, we might be able to just sneak it in here. What it looks like to me is it kind of does this and then goes to a smaller road. We might need to lower it a little, but it's also kind of the, the stationy road area. If we can head over there and it's not too terrible, that's beautiful. 
Then there we go, Kanak. My friend is in. We may need to lower that and, and, and tidy it up a touch if we stick that on high. Make some uh, holes in the middle and then smooth it out and it looks like it was always there. Well, there's something rather relaxing about seeing the uh, the terrain terraform like that. <laughs> it, it pleases me. I don't know why. There's probably a name for that. Or there isn't. I don't know. Right, can we... Uh, can we please make a little bridge here? It would be ace. Yeah, of course you too much curvature. Of course it is. Yeah, just there. Go there. It'll be fine. Get rid of the the bubbles. Bobbles? Bumples? Whatever we're gonna call them. Bumples. I like that. Nope. Don't like that though. What happens if we hold shift? Will you do it? Nope. It's not far off though, is it? Maybe if we do our little trick either side. Can we and we cheekily say that that's that's low enough game. No, not with a road. Not with a road. Yeah, will you? Yeah, yeah, you are kind of a bit... Ooh, don't like that. This is a recipe for a crash, isn't it? It does actually dip down in the middle, so it might work for us. Uh, we go flat, but then make... And join up to here. Wait. No. We're going to need to come around here first. It does dip down, but there is definitely a little dip to it. So if we do that, and we... Wrong way. We drop it down with N. That will possibly give us enough. We'll smooth out the, the little bump there. By connecting it from here. There we go. That shouldn't be as aggressive now. We just go a little bit down. And we'll get rid of that. Take that round there with the correct road. What do you reckon now, Mr. Track? It says you've got no chance, sir. <laughs> Thanks, that's nice. Appreciate it. Well, maybe, maybe. I'm not giving up yet. We could get rid of that. I noticed it was a bit higher than it was before. We are a bit close. Ooh. Hey, guys, we're in. I'm going to have this as a single beam. No, let's have it double. There's plenty of room. Let's do it. It's going to be a low bridge, which it probably is in real life. Looking at the, uh, the images. There we go. We've got both of the both of the little uh, rail bridges in. That's lovely. Canuck is, is, is quite detailed, really, for a, a quick throw in. And it's named right. Look at you go. And then we head off. So we've got that bridge in. Do I want to get Landy Wood in? It's sort of tempting if there is a station there. I can't remember. Ah, yes. So, uh, Landy Wood is... Well, we've got the M6 has got it. The M6 toll road has to plough through here somewhere that we go over the top of. However, we're obviously going to be... We're obviously going to be digging down for that. So, we're going to have to go a little bit further. And Landy Wood Station is actually a platform either side of a bridge. Which is quite nice. I do like that. And and so, we could we could probably recreate that quite nicely. And it, it's supposed to be in a cutting, though. That's the only issue I've got with it. That means we're going to have to uh, somewhat plough through here. Hopefully we don't destroy everything. It's got to be either side anyway, so it matters not. I guess what we could do is start sending this down, then, if we've got to. I mean, it, it is heading up. The, the terrain is meeting us. I mean, because that's flat. So possibly just the slightest gradient down would, would give us what we need. There we go. There we go. Don't mind that. Because a lot of this is in a cutting. I mean, it gives us a bit. We don't want to go too far down, you see, because then we've got to dig another hole for the... Uh, no, not heading up again. Right, where are we? I've lost, I've lost where we are. There. That might do us, because our next stop is block switch, and there's block switch north and then the main station so we could probably go a little further south actually we've got one station either side haven't we so we do need to level out if we go here that'll do us i think that'll do us we're going to make a little bit of room for us before we put the stations in because we want to know where we're going we are kind of curving that way there we go now that we've got the outline we can 
we can know where to be. Now, we've got to get this. Make sure it's... Yeah, find the flat bit first. Is that flat? There we go. We've got the flat bit. Go there. Let's put in our first bit of the station. We're just going to go with that. It, it's not really on much of a curve. It sort of is. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Never mind. We'll get it sorted. I, I will... I will make it work, guys. We want to be doing something like that. And we don't want a, a platform on the other side. 100, I would imagine, will be okay. They look quite long, though. Now, we don't need the leftmost platform, and we certainly don't need them both sides. So we'll go with nut. Oh, yeah, we can't do that. Go with right. That should be, that should be good for us. We want to be the other side, unfortunately. Uh, so it would be none surface because we want to be closest to the bridge with this one and right there we go and we'll get the we'll get the gentle gentle curve on it oh my voice went up really high there don't know what that was all about wrong curve there we go that's a bit not gentle is it there we go. that's better yeah i would prefer it to be like that we'll get that in and then we'll We'll go round. So our road is going to cross over here, hopefully. Which means we're going to need a little bit of a bridge going on about a road's width. We're going to continue to head round with the slope. Touch. There we go. Um, we'll, we'll use this to make the road a bridge. I mean, we can, we can go a little higher. I don't mind doing that. I'm pretty sure it raises up a touch anyway, so... If, it, if it's too too low for the track, we'll, we'll adjust it. And we'll get our road across the top. I mean, there's not many houses or anything around here. Uh, we could put a little hump in it. I mean, that might do us. What what road bridge would we want, though? Nothing, nothing fantastically complex. I mean, I'd love to put these in, but getting the bits either side is, is a little awkward. Oh... What do you do? What do you do, man? We could go with that. I kind of like that. I, I like this green. Oh, well, that, do you know? I'm going to take that because it looks kind of cool. Again, artistic license time. Right, now, this station on this side should just mirror it. Except we'll be... We'll be going the other way, won't we? On our, There we go, like that. There we go. I like that. I am all sorts of happy with that, guys. And I'm a little surprised that we got it in, to be fair. Now, can we just, like, gently go up here? That'd be great. One there, one there. Uh, there's actually... Actually, a road that comes off here. We might as well get it on. Street lane. Street lane. <laughs> if we do that and just go down a touch... And make it easier on ourselves and then we can connect up somehow to here if we go at an angle it'll give us a bit more to play with I it doesn't look too bad i'll take it i'll absolutely take that oh, it has an x site i can't believe we got this in all right well that's landy woods platform one and two whichever ones they're called i don't know i don't want to get too rid of too much of the embankment though as I do. Good job. That that I don't mind. We'll keep that in. Yep. Go around here. Smooth this out a bit. We'll get it all looking fantastic by the time we're done. I promise you. But we're going to have to let the, uh, the lovely residents of Hannock and Landy Wood and all the block switches and everything. We're going to have to su supply these quite a bit because it's all kind of one thing. There isn't much of a gap between them. So that'll be a bit of fun as well, where we can supply them goods and send whatever, either trucks or freight trains in there. You, you almost got rid of it. I like it. What there actually is here is this is all tree-lined down down the side of the platform. In fact, it's, it's pretty much tree-lined all the way. So it'd be like that. And there's a big parking area just here. Well, not big, big. There is a big one. And apparently there's a co-op over there somewhere. 
<laughs> we don't have co-ops. Well, I mean, we do, but we don't have them in the game. We don't have co-ops in the US, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, there we go. It's probably a bit excessive on the on the on the foliage front, but uh, we've got it in. We'll go a bit down here as well. Hey, look at that! A little bit of detailing done. Well, there was a lot of detailing at the beginning. That kind of looks nice. I like that. Beautiful. You're a beautiful station, and you've only just been put in. That's amazing. I don't know what we're doing with the other side yet. You're just smoothing away and getting rid of it. all the the fantastic detail that you could probably have. I'm fairly confident all of this should be trees. So, I would like to get like a wooden fence, I think. Stockade. Let's go with a stockade, like it's an old wooden fence. And we'll, we'll go around and prevent them from building there, because there are no houses. N not only that, it gives us a nice little outline for our brand new station here. Just like that. There we go. It's a bit wonky, but it would be, wouldn't it? It would be. They just like rushed it in at the last second. We're probably a bit too close to the road there, Mr. T, but we'll see. We'll see. They might ignore it. Or they might not. I would hope they don't. We'll just go like that. Get some... You don't want too many trees there, I don't think. Just a few scattered around. Wow, well, I'm just going, going to town on this, aren't I? I really am. There we go. You're in. We could... <laughs> I say I'm going to town on this. I'm, what I'm going to do now is show you the little fancy bits that just... You've seen these before, but it's amazing how much these just just change it. Uh, from, from being plain old bushes at the side to being rather nice looking on cab rides and screenshots. You do them like that. You don't have to go far back either. And then you plant those in and all of a sudden you've got little bits of grass and things. And then you go in my favourite... Things that look like dandelions. Oh, plan though. And you go along and do the same thing. Close to the track. Along here. And that would be that. Plant those in. Look at that. Look at what a difference that makes. Oh, gee, that. And you got you almost got a screenshot. This looks brilliant. Was that a plane in the distance? Yeah, it is. Yeah, and we'll do the same over there. I I like it. I don't know which is P1 and P2. Landywood, P2. I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing. And this would be Landywood, P1. Who knows? If I've got that right, pat me on the back. If not, it was a guess. Way to back out of that. Right, Canux in. We're done, guys. I would say that was a that was a solid episode of building. Let's play it. Bring up the UI because we're into... 1980 almost almost this is working there is another little bridge we might shift it up a bit but there is a little road bridge as well no i think it's a rail bridge but yes so we go all the way now from rugely down through to rugely town to hensford to cannock and to the, our split platform lady ladywood no landywood come on man you corrected yourself once already that is looking brilliant I love it. I love it a lot. I'm. Do you know what I'm tempted to do, guys? I'm tempted to put a temporary uh, little depot in here and start a, tra a couple of trains running on here because they are going to run different. I don't know why I deleted that boulder. That was just bizarre. Anyhow, what are we doing? Yeah, I want a depot. I want, I would like a depot, just one of these. Throw it on the end here. And we'll, we'll get us class... 313 on there. Now, there's been some uh, debating going on in the comments section about the cross city line and using 313s. Uh, I agree. However, the cross city line wasn't electrified until late 80s, early 90s. We will do it. We'll put them on there. They are well suited there. But, uh, oh, yes, we've got to put the HSTs on if possible. So we're going to get these on. This should do, and I'm going to have them this colour for now, because I we I do like having some British Rail stock on there. We're going to buy one of those, and we're going to duplicate it a couple of times. Clone. Just twice, and we're going to put these on a line that doesn't exist, you muppet. Good job. Right, should we, should we do a new line? It, I don't know what it's called yet, and I think it would be run by London Northwestern, but anyway. 
obviously that means it's going to be kind of that's more southern more that green isn't it so we're going to start at Rugeley go to Rugeley town it'll be interesting if this works do you know what we don't have signals and it goes to Hensford this might be a bad idea we're going to have to put a crossing up here too then you go there and then you back to Cannock back to Hensford back to Rugeley town right but we're going to have to get the the stuff's in so this would be it's it's where the car the train splits birmingham new street to uh Rugeley, trent valley uh, and it would be london northwestern trains railway right i think <laughs> there we go that'll do us now let's get in the signals though we're probably going to need that up mr t because you're a plonker we're going to actually need to make sure this is working as we put the signals in which it should do i don't see why it shouldn't and since it's only three car we might be able to sneak our little trains in up to here and oh, we need these one way one there there might be enough stopping distance just here to fit the fit the trains in we'll see you're not you're not one way though are you because you you messed up there we go there we go yeah you're not gonna like that just yet we're gonna have to switch these over i should have done the signaling first shouldn't i shoulda coulda woulda terminal two please yeah. all of these are all sorts of wrong so landy wood is right oh do you know what we don't have that that's gonna be an issue let's uh quickly put the crossover in up here it's not going to be there. I've, I've got to look at the crossovers yet. But we are going to put it in regardless. Like so. There we go. And then we can put a one-way signal just there. We might be able to just fix these. Let's hit that button. You're beautiful. I love that little hammer button. If you don't know, it fixes all your basic mistakes like that. Like uh, it's automatic pathfinding. It will, it will fix those. I don't really like having a signal on the bridge. Should we have one before? Oh, come on. Get on there. Get on. Stop dancing. Dancing. One there. One there. Beautiful. And we'll have one just there and another one just before the bridge. Lovely. I mean, in real life, I'm pretty sure they do have them. Stopping on bridges. Well, that was weird. You, you moved. And one up there and we'll have one clearing just here ah you, you keep dancing with your, your catenary there that's interesting but not overly interesting i don't know why it's doing it anyway just put them there as the catenary continues to move around that's how that does right one there and one there it's probably moving nodes around and so the catenary is dancing around with it one there what do we got now a boat and a motorbike lovely <laughs> Ooh, british rail haa hopper Ooh, those those look fancy now there's something with those the master nerd was telling me that i can't remember which one crashes so i'm gonna have to double check that he says one of them might crash and i'm, I'm i don't know which one it is so yes well look at why are you always moving stop moving the catenary it's haunted right are we good i think that looks better right in fact there's enough room here isn't it well i said i weren't going to put them on on the bridges but we are oh because you got no crossover yes that's right in fact i think that's right there shouldn't be a signal here that is correct there should be well we can have one here like there but not one way that is fine because oh God, no, stop moving the catenary around it scares me if we have one there you're going to be joined by another 313 in a second uh, the only signal that will allow him through would be this one up here all right let's get you on now that you actually have a line so these are representing the train splitting at birmingham new street coming from london houston We'll have the London Euston 313 as a uh, six car. It's two fours, but we've got two threes because they're 313s. 
and that that's a good good time to end it i think guys we'll watch our train uh, eventually go over the bridge i think oh, there's, there's a place yes that looks like we've got some new stuff the hoppers i'm gonna have to research which ones of those actually break because i can't remember which way is a good way to sit here i want to gonna find a place in the bushes kind of thing there we go like that <laughs> what are you doing man just find a place that has been episode 98 join me for episode 99 on thursday where we'll we'll continue our ways to uh walsall which is it's going to be an interesting one it, uh, after the station is partially underground with buildings on top of it we'll figure out a way to do that looking forward to it but yes that was a lot of fun we didn't get round to the hsts i promised to do those on the next episode after that is the hundred which will be the following sun next sunday hopefully it'll be a live stream and it should be at six o'clock that's the plan don't know whether it'll pan out that way but i will endeavor to do it that looks brilliant love it oh it got me excited what a perfect way to end that so until next time guys take care <laughs>